How's it going guys, Vavav here, and today I want to talk about OnePlus's Concept One. So it's been teased by OnePlus and Pete Lau in the last couple of weeks, and because it's 2020, I put both of these things together and thought that we would be seeing a OnePlus foldable smartphone at CES happening in a few days from now. But it turns out I was completely wrong. OnePlus teased this to be the alternate design and the alternate future, and it seems to be the case because what it really is, is a disappearing camera module. How it works is it uses a glass material called a photoelectric glass material and what this does is based on the electricity that's being passed through it, it either becomes transparent or it becomes opaque. When you're not using the camera, it's opaque to give a clean look and when you're using the camera, it becomes transparent for you to see the camera modules. Now in terms of specifications and what this phone might be, I do not expect to have a consumer variant at CES 2020. This is more of a concept, but I do see this being a reality in the next couple of months, and I'll explain why. This concept is already being implemented in planes like the 787 Dreamliner, as well as the McLaren 720S Supercar, and that's a very big deal because OnePlus and McLaren work closely together for their special smartphones every single year. And if the trend continues, the OnePlus 8T Pro McLaren Edition will probably have this thing on board if they stick to the same naming scheme. In terms of how useful this is, I don't think it's going to be that useful on the back per se because I'm not really bothered about a clean look on the back of my phone, but definitely on the front of the phone where phones have a notch, for example, this could be a very useful concept where the notch could disappear while you're using the phone to view multimedia and when you want to use the camera, the notch comes back on for you to see the camera and then off again. So this sort of makes sense on the front and also makes sense for people who do not like pop-up style selfie cameras but still want that bezel-less design. So far it looks like OnePlus is the first in the market to do this for smartphones and OnePlus likes to do this a lot where they become the first to do a certain thing and it sort of catches on because OnePlus, believe it or not, are like the Apple of the Android world um, and I don't think that's a bad thing because if, does, if this does catch on, it could be a very useful feature that other companies could borrow in the long run. Now, in terms of the material itself, people do say it's not as strong as a typical glass material and it's also very expensive to produce. But I think um, with further usage and as more and more manufacturers adopt this sort of technology, I think the cost could be lower. And in terms of the durability of the material, I think um, once you start investing in research and how to improve it further, you will get to a point where this becomes as strong as the typical glass panel is. So in essence, that really sums up the concept one. I think at CES 2020 happening in just a few days from now, you'll be seeing a very similar phone to the OnePlus 7T Pro McLaren Edition with this sort of technology on board for attendees to try it out to see if it makes sense. And I think even Pete Lau has said that in the long run, they do want to incorporate this not just for the camera module, but for things like the screen. So we're already just a couple of days into 2020 and the future of smartphones is looking bright. And that's about it for this video. Let me know what you guys think about this style. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And I do want to make more videos just me talking about certain things to see if you enjoy that because I certainly do and I would love to continue. Thanks for watching. This was Vapov and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.